So here I've got a regular Facebook page, my Facebook page, and I've got a Facebook post over here. And I'm going to put a message right over here, put a comment right over here. This is my comment and hit send. Now wait, credit response is going to get notified by Facebook. And you can see right on my screen, I've got a personalized message from Technic Force, the page, and it can have a lot of detail. You can put in any detail you want. So in this particular instance, I'm giving people more information about credit response and the website where they can actually find credit response details. So this is what this software does. Anytime anyone comments on your Facebook post, they get an instant message. They get a personal message on Facebook, which always inboxes. And that's very important. It's not sent to the other messages folder of your inbox. It inboxes along with that pop-up noise, this indicator right over here and this box. So there's no way anyone can miss this message. All of your audience is going to see this. So it's a very, very effective way and a new way to engage your audience on Facebook. It's not chatbot technology because in chatbot, you gotta send the message first, then the page can respond back here. It's much wider. Back to the demo, I'm logging on in my credit response console. Here's my dashboard. I can see the page activity. I've only added one page to credit response. So all of my data is from one page. But if you had multiple pages, you would get a nice pie chart along with the page activity for each page. Then there's date wise page activity. How many responses are being processed each day by credit response. And here you will see some of the people who have commented on your Facebook post and you can click on them and see more details about them on Facebook too. Now coming to using credit response, this, this is a very simple software, very easy to use. All you need to do is first add a Facebook page. So to do that, click on Facebook pages and all the pages that you've already added will be listed over here. And if you want to add a fresh page, click on add FB page. And depending on whether you've given credit response permission to work with your Facebook or not, it might ask you for permissions, give it those permissions if needed. And then you will see a list of all the Facebook pages that you are managing right over here. And you can just click on the page that you want to see it or to add it to credit response, click on add page. That's all. Now the page is added and you can actually see the actual posts from the page by clicking on view posts. So here are all the posts on this page. You can scroll through them. You can pick up the post you want to work with. You can even go to the next page and look at the older posts if you want. But whenever you're ready to set up a response for a post, click on set a response. And this is the screen where you can type in your response to the post that you selected. So type in anything you want right in this box. So I've typed a little message with the person's first name. Yes. Credit response supports personalization and you can see right away over here what are the personalization options options available to you. You can go for name, you can go for first name, last name, day of week and the date. So if you want any of this data in the message, just copy and paste it over there. In this particular example, I'm using first name. So credit response is going to replace this tag first name over here with the person's first name, the name of the person who put the comment. So this is a great way to actually relate to the people and send them a very, very personalized message. Then you can also set up a delay for the message. So if you want to set it instantly right after they posted the comment, just like I showed you, it can be no delay. Or if you want to delay it a little bit just to make it sort of a reminder, like you can select up to 60 minutes in delay. And here you got some more options. You can choose to respond to second level comments. So if somebody comments a reply on one of the comments on your post, you can choose to ignore them. If you uncheck this, they will not get a reply. Reply, They will not get a response. And if you check this, they will get a response. And you've got another setting, respond only once. So if somebody puts up multiple comments on your post, they won't get multiple responses. So this is all to the software. When you're ready, click on submit and your response is already submitted. Finally, this is post responses. All the responses that you put in will be listed over here. So you can go to this page, see all the responses that you put in. If you want to delete anything, you can do so. And if 
if credit response faces any problems, any errors in posting a reply, you can go to the error section and all the errors that are found will be listed over here. Right now, there are no errors. And then we got settings. This is where you change your email or your password. And that's all. This is the easiest software that you will use to engage your customers. And guys, it's also the most powerful. You can set it up in less than two minutes and then it just works in the background replying to your customers, engaging them, giving them more information. You can share whatever you want, support information, more details, details about the website. You can even answer the questions. So this is a very effective way to first strike off a conversation with somebody who's interested in your product or your service or your post. Give them more information and also potentially even start a conversation that you can then take over manually and give them further details like discount coupons, sales codes, pitches. You can even make sales pitches after that. So guys, get credit response. It's the best software that you can use right now for Facebook marketing on your Facebook page.